and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Fizz. We're going to be trying to buff up our Fizz and win with some buffed up elusives. Of course, we're going to, so we're going to uh, be doing that with Starlet Seer and Omen Hawk. Those are going to be our most important cards to see in our opener, especially Starlet Seer. So I know we're called Twisted Fizz, but this is going to be the, the card that we want in every single opener, if we could choose one. Because we're going to be playing a lot of spells, and each spell that we're going to be playing will grant the top ally, ally of our deck plus one, plus one. And hopefully that's on Elusive. Hopefully that's like on a Fizz that will be really big, or Zap Sprayfin, or Slippery Wave Rider. We're going to be trying to buff those things up. Uh, I guess also Golden Narwhal as well. Um, but then we have Twisted Fate, because it's just an amazing card. That's what we just saw with the Spider Aggro deck. We just saw how great Twisted Fate is as a card. Plus we can do a little bit of drawing in here. We got some Salvages. A couple shared spoils. We get we get a little bit of card draw in here. Um, lots of cheap spells because cheap spells are great with both Starlet Seer and with Fizz. So lots of cheap spells in here. Draw our extra cards with Salvage, um, and you know spray fin drawing some cards. Try to win the late game. We got one Battle Fury um, to help finish out games, and also Harsh Winds to keep us alive. So that's our deck. It's Twisted Fizz. Let's give it a shot. I'm playing more of a, a combo, like an, an aggro combo deck here. Okay. Yes, it looks like Hush will probably be a two-cost card, but will not make any fleeting copies anymore. So it'll just be a a one-shot type thing of just, um, you know, no fleeting copies. All right, so our hand looks good. We got we got Starless here. That's the most important thing. And then we have some good things at drawing cards. Shared Spoils is awesome if we can turn on the Plunder. Our our hand's not really looking like it's turning on Plunder anytime soon. I could see mulliganing one of the four mana cards, just to not have two four mana cards. But I also kind of like all this stuff. This is definitely set, setting up for a late game, which, you know, they're going to be a late game deck. Um, we got rewarded by for keeping both the four mana cards by drawing another one immediately. So, rewarded. Could play Omen Hawk first. That helps out, like, if we draw one of our top units and, and now gets the additional plus one, plus one from the Omen Hawk. And they kind of have to cast the Catalyst of Aeons there because I could pass the turn. And they don't want me to pass the turn. Okay, there we go. A big Spray Fin. And a big Omen Hawk. So I think I go Twisted Fate blue card. I know I could go gold card and save four life, but I think we go blue card to try to level up Twisted Fate faster. Plus also work our way towards protection spells. I could just block with Omen Hawk, I guess. Nah, it's just four life. There we go, that's good. I wanted to find Troll Chant or Elixir of Iron. So three out of eight. The, the biggest question... The biggest question is, like, should I cast Pick a Card right here? That would make Twisted Fate 7 out of 8. I just have to play one thing that draws a card to level it up. No, I probably don't. I'll probably wait a turn for that. Draw 
on every Omen Hawk. Oh, an auspicious season. I wanted to do that first, so like I'm kind of thinking about maybe playing Slippery Wave Rider here and then attuning. And you know, so we can get a uh, spell mana again. The problem, of course, with playing that right here is now they know to kill my Twisted Fate. So I guess that was the problem. Blessed by snow and stars. Alright, I need to play the Spray Fin and try to draw another protection spell. Troll Chan, Elixir of Iron. Darn. I wasn't planning on playing the Spray Fin. I was planning on playing the Wave Rider. They do have another Avalanche that would kill their Trundle. Yuck. That's really not good. There you are, Troll Chant. A little late. A little late. We see through all. Many tribes under one banner. Another avalanche. Pretty good avalanche. So basically, I could play like Troll Chant and keep something alive, but if I do that, then I don't get to share its spoils. I guess I'm gonna just share its spoils, and I'm going to I'm gonna do this right now while we have the the two Starlet Seers in play. Um, maybe maybe I should cast the other Warning Shot. Blessed by snow and stars. Could have grown this Fizz even more. A little snow I'm honestly thinking that I, I may have to just kill the Ice Pillar and not do 8 damage to them. That's crazy, right? Nah, yeah, that's crazy. Because I'm, I'm worried about taking lethal on the way back. If I don't kill this Ice Pillar, I'm worried about taking lethal. I guess I probably have to. Gosh, that ice pillar is so good. Oh no! Completely punished. Drew harsh winds. Completely punished. Could just dealt the eight damage to them. All right. So hopefully all these elusives will kill them. Basically need ruination. Go to two. Yep, yep, yep. Seem like an odd attack for them. I guess they're still alive. I probably don't play the Starlet Seer because of Ruination. Do I even need to play this Chum the Waters then? Yeah, I guess I guess Ruination does put in another put in a 9-9 Trindomir, doesn't it? Oh, come on, 
That's a huge problem, isn't it? All right, yeah, let's let's play the Starlets here. Start growing the next card, because if they do have a Ruination, we probably just need another Elusive. And so that, therefore, we probably need said Elusive to be quite big. So we're probably going to need Starlet Seer to buff it up. Ah, an auspicious season. Bow to your king. What smack will do? Rewarded. This will be a good winter. Does not ruffle our feathers. I ain't afraid. All right, it's definitely worried of atrocity still. I guess I can't really play around atrocity too much either. Now that harsh wind's being gone. They dead. Hopefully they dead. Finally dead. No. Ugh. Not quite. I need that to be Battle Fury, not Fury of the North. Wrong Fury. Our strength is yours. King of Trolls, coming through. If I would have just had either of those cards for that Twisted Fate earlier. Could have protected that Twisted Fate earlier. That's kind of the that's the story of the last week for me, right? Like, GG's, that was close, but not quite good enough. I hope they don't have a one-mana card and that our Omen Hawk turns on shared spoils. That's what I'm hoping. All right, that's a good sign. Good sign. Go, Wave Rider, go. Wow. Still had nothing. Kind of expecting Twisted Fate or Zap Sprayfin. Ooh, Yordle Grifter. I was gonna say either of those would be able to gold card. I guess I still gold card this and have it have one health against my Omen Hawk. It's either that or blue card. Maybe it's blue card. Yeah, let's just get an additional card. I think that the random card in our deck is probably more valuable than two damage on a Yordle Grifter. more valuable. Mm -hmm. We have Elixir of Iron, help protect Twisted Fates. Ooh, I like that draw. So eight mana, Starlet Seer plus Salvage takes up six. Can't just take all the damage in the world. 
No, those are the exact cards I want. That's unfortunate. This is the exact cards that I want. Four. So our next card is going to be the we, we draw a card for turn is five. Salvage is six and seven. Um, based on you know debating, do we play Omen Hawk or not? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll have six mana. So we'll have seven mana next turn if I play Omen Hawk, which is kind of an awkward number of mana to have with like Salvage Fury of the North. But I guess we have the Elixir of Iron. Okay, let's play Hawk. So I could also go, let's see, what if I just go Wave Rider this turn? Then I have three mana left. Which is enough for pick a card. Go Wave Rider and you know get aggressive with Wave Rider. So now they have to kind of worry about Twisted Fate, but then they also have to worry about Slippery Wave Rider. Lady Luck is smiling. Make them worry about both. You the losing side. Oh, that hurt. Not too bad, though. Now it was a fate at six. I have salvage. Make it eight. So we're good. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. We keep just uh, tossing our one mana cards, right? Like our really cheap cards. Gotta trust your instincts. I guess I'll just. Throw away this warning shot to draw a card. Get the blue card out. Soak it in. Biz. I didn't attack with the hawk, so I don't know. Then them blocking with the zap spray fit on the hawk. Oh, I didn't. Took my starless here. Starless here is awesome. <laughs> Something for all. This would be a good you started without me. Good. I like tossing some real expensive cards. Scene. Toss the expensive cards. So I have 11 elusive right now. attack probably gonna be like going playful trickster like on the omen hawk get an additional attack in Say your farewells. Your needs you to pay up. if i go playful trickster and then they kill it will we still rally or will it fizzle yeah, fizz fizzle. i guess let's find out Yeah, I assume it would fizzle also. Alright, 
I will allow that to happen. Who says I don't share? More attacks. Ooh. We can do this forever with Fizz. Just keep reshuffling Fizz back into the deck and attacking some more. I was gonna say Riptide Rex is about the only thing that they could have. Oh, that doesn't really doesn't really help though. Okay. All right, one and one. Good job, Twisted Fate. Ooh, we got some LP. Yo, we got some LP. Let's go. Yeah, we got some LP. The doggo is super excited about us having some LP. Alright, playing against the burn deck. Control Chance may be a... I shouldn't be keeping this. Um, I don't like either of these cards. I would I would mulligan Fury of the North and Battle Fury immediately if I had the opportunity. I guess we regret keeping Troll Chant. Oh. I'd mulligan all three of these cards immediately. Omenhawk, you're supposed to give the plus one plus one to Starlet Seer, and then we draw Starlet Seer. That's what was about. that was gonna be what was gonna happen. I was gonna get in my way. Okay. Oh boy, here I go. We'll take that. gonna pass. Now I could war you know, so I could warning shot to do an, an additional three damage to them. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. I'm just gonna pass though. There's Starless here. Gonna turn to late. Card it up. I'm always up for a round or two. We're down to eleven. So we're not looking great. Make that down to eight. Looking less great. Make that down to seven. I was at 12, I'm gonna kill all, all their stuff, but then <laughs> all this Nexus damage. An auspicious season. I, guess, I don't know if I attack with these. We just gotta stay alive for another attack and have Battle Fury Fizz. Not sure if we'll be able to do that. Um, the Brittle Steel is pretty nice, though, so I mean, I guess we are at six, because we can, you know, they attack with Grenadier, I can just Brittle Steal it, we don't have to block it. Feel pr pretty good about this. Uh, 
All right, perfect. Perfect amount of mana. For 11 power fizz. And I guess I wait till after damage to cast the warning shot. Play right now and get rid of that make it rain. Alright, GG's. All right, Fizz did its thing. Been seeing this deck a little bit more, and and it looks like it's getting some decent win rates, um, according to Mobilitics. This, like Neverglade Collector, Phantom Prankster Burn. I don't know. Brittle Seal is a one mana card. No, I don't love any of these. Let's let's just draw Starlet Seer. Oh no. Okay, that can attack. Stalking Shadows. Is this a deck that y'all would like to see me play? The Team Ocalista burn deck? So get to do the challenging. I like that. We're gonna red card kill those two. It won't kill that. But waiting for the shared spoils just after red card. Like we'll, I'll just enable this on red card, and plus then it'll be uh, draw a card after my twisted fates in play. So that's important. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was thinking about I was thinking about playing this one today. I could probably play this deck tomorrow. Y'all like to see this one? Cool. Yeah, I haven't played a deck like this in, in a long time. Starlet Seer is awesome. Oh my gosh, I just passed. No, I meant to attack. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I didn't want to pass. Good thing we did the burst pass. Smart. Paradise. I'm not sure, that's what I call this. Slippery Wave Rider, what's up? The old 8 8. Pretty big. Do I want to block with Twisted Fate? Probably. We probably need to against the burn deck. And keep it alive with Elixir of Iron. This will be a good winter. And they end up killing it, they end up killing it, that's how it is. Yep, that's how it is. So that's a mystic shot that's not going face. Can I play both of them? <laughs> I want to play both. Okay, no other units out here. So we get to attack in with Starless here also. A little surprising. I'm not sure what they got with those four cards that they wanted to play zero of them. 
What could they possibly have in their hand? Whole bunch of nothing, I guess. What could their hand even be? Ooh, playing against Endure. So this is gonna be a race. I like having elusives against Endure. Alright, we're gonna keep Fizz. And I guess we're gonna play these. I don't know if we play Warning Shot on turn one. Like I play so I play Fizz on one. If they play a blocker, maybe no blocker, pass back to me. No blocker, please. Yuck. I don't know if that's worth the warning shot right here. Turn warning shot into three damage. I don't know, maybe that is worth it. It's already it already does one. Ooh. So smart for waiting. Now we have Starless here. Why is Hapless Aristocrat not attacking? All right, 17. Almost dead. No, definitely, like, this matchup, I wanted to keep Fizz because elusives are going to be just so important in this matchup, and Fizz gets to be our elusive. No, they don't play Withering Well. Oh, no, they do play that card. This is where we need Twisted Fate. Red card. I don't really want them to be able to just challenge my Golden Narwhal. Alright, Fizz, you tried. You tried. I'm not gonna play I'll play this over playing the fizz because we may just you never know we may just draw a third fizz that will be pumped up um, due to Starless here and Omen Hawk there's more Omen Hawk and so if that's the case wow see Oh, we didn't. Don't have the 2-1 Fizz. Now we have the 4-3 Fizz. Alright, where are we at? We're at 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 times 2 is 14. I guess I just do 14 damage to them. I mean, 15 because of Warning Shot. And then winning from here, not going to be the easiest. They're definitely going to kill all of... <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to have to block with everything. So we're going to need to find elusives that can do two points of damage. We're gonna need to find elusive that can do four points of damage. Coming in. It's a good draw to help keep me alive this turn. And, you know, we could play salvage plus troll chant, salvage, you know, dig. Or elusive. Alright, this puts me down to three. I guess I could just keep Fizz alive by going Fury of the North instead of playing Salvage. By snow and stars. This will be a
I can't stop Atrocity from killing me. No matter what I do. The chains, they never stop. Cool. I can get f further out of Doom Beast range. So 5-4. We get there. All right, Fury of the Fizz. That's a cool video title name, Fury of the Fizz. GG's. <laughs> Attack twice in the same round. There we go. All right, Fury of the Fizz came back. Nice and strong, went in four and four in a row. Um, the Harsh Winds was pretty clutch in some of those games. Um, this is a pretty sweet deck. We did, you know, did not get paired against Hush, so that was very good. Didn't get our Fizz hushed at all, but just another another cool little Fizz deck. Um, Starlet Seer being very important, of course. Yeah, there we go. Wave Rider was pretty good. The Attune was important at times, but also I know like like probably the first game, if if Wave Rider was Abyssal Eye in the first game, maybe we would have won that because I think we hit him like a couple of times with Wave Riders and could have had a couple more cards, and that could have been a big difference with that first game. So I'm not I'm not sure. You know this this of course is an aggro deck, and so like the Wave Rider being as big as it is. And you get that extra mana. Like I understand liking Wave Rider a lot, but drawing cards is also really good. So I'm not I'm not sold that Wave Rider is just 100 percent better than Abyssal Eye. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. So that's that's uh that's Twisted Fizz. Alright, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.